Jocelyn Vesner and I'm the vet for Save the Chimps and we take care of a lot of chimpanzees that have been rescued from biomedical research and Thodo is one of those chimps and Thodo is a little different because Thodo didn't come straight from biomedical research he was actually in a circus for 20 years before he was then put into the Colston Foundation and left there for research so he has an added burden because he was basically spoiled in a human setting for 20 years and then he was put into a cement cell and just given monkey chow so I think his burden is even worse than chimpanzees just in research. I met Photo eight years ago and Photo was a chimp that sat in the back of a cement cage right yes I know and just rocked all the time didn't you didn't you oh, where's Photo he loves to pay chase. Are you a great guy? You are a great guy, aren't you? I did bring you treats, and as you can see, he's more interested in play than he is in food. He just wants the attention. Uh, uh, uh. He also has a, a foot fetish. He loves to look at people's feet as well. Can I have that tickle stick, please? Can I have that tickle stick? Thank you. Hi. You're a handsome man, aren't you? Yeah! Oh, that's his invitation to play. Thodo was um, Ron's best friend, and the two of them traveled to, um, from New Mexico to Florida together. And Thodo loved being out. It, I think it um, really reminded him of his freedom before. So Thodo gathered all his blankets the first night he was out, and he went outside and slept. So we know he loves his island. And every day, Dodo gets medicine for his heart. He has a heart condition. And he also gets a holistic combination to keep him nice and healthy. Nice and healthy. Oh, and here comes Millie. Would you like a pretzel? The Dodo usually won't let you have a pretzel. He's just kindly. There you go. Would you like a pretzel? Oh, and look who else is coming. Scarlet. Oh. And Miss Chandra. Oh my goodness, you look beautiful in red. Did you like one or not? You don't want to take it in front of Thodo? See, she's watching him. For some reason, she won't take it while he's around. Did you get mad at her when she ate something? All right, let's see if she'll take it over here. Oh, sweetheart. I always tell people, if you don't have an appetite, come watch a chimp eat because they really love their food. This is Thodo's group. Thodo's in a smaller group because of his heart condition. And we have Millie, who is very sensitive. And we have Scarlett, who has had a um, spinal problem, so she can't run as fast. We call her Scarlett O'Hara just because she's so dignified and she's so funny and she's so smart and you're all those things, aren't you? Oh, you want to tickle too. Everything's interesting about Dodo. Everything's interesting about Dodo. But one of the um, saddest things actually is that he has no teeth. Obviously when he was in the entertainment industry, um, they pulled his teeth in an effort to keep him from biting and acting out. But um, it still didn't work so they gave him up totally to research. And um, he eats very well. Do you eat very well? He loves pizza. Loves spaghetti. He actually um, slurps his spaghetti up. And here comes Shaky. Shaky's a wonderful older chip. As you can see from Shaky's hands, they're deformed. He was also in research. 
And if you look at his hands, it looks like they've been broken and they were never fixed. And I theorize that it's actually from the heavy doors um, at the laboratory that he probably got his hands stuck and they, they didn't do anything about it. So um, he's another great chimp. He's, very, he's older too. And Shaky loves to play, but he also can be a grumpy guy and pretend to be really mad at you. May I? Like that. Like that. Hi, Shay. Oh, my goodness. Who knew? Who knew you liked the camera? The other thing we never knew about Shaky was he makes great um, nests. You give him a bunch of blankets and he spends about 10 minutes folding them over and making sure they're perfectly set before he lays down for a nap. Up there they go, the two old men back on the island. <laughs> what are you writing? Let me see your writing. Uh oh. Millie just took your pen. Let's see what she's gonna do with it. Probably stick herself. This is uh, our spot to remember Photo by. This is his trees where he always would hang out and sleep and uh, sit. He loved to watch the water. He also loved to watch the other chimps. And as you can see, there's many, many chimps for Thoreau to watch over there. He loved his island time, that's for sure. And that's the one thing we always work very hard to do is give him his island time. And I kind of can't be in a big group. And uh, it's just, uh, we miss him a lot, I can tell you that. Especially... Uh, the little smaller group here definitely misses Toto a, a whole bunch. He a good presence to be around. I hope he's in a happy place and he's resting good. Most of my memories are always searching for a photo on the island. That's why I thought it would be great to do it at his spot where he would hide. I just remember always looking for him, always looking for him. And then it'd be like, oh, there's Toto's little head popping out. And, you know, we'd always be worried about him. That's because we always had to find him, you know. That's all I always remember him, just seeing him prancing along the island, around the whole island perimeter, and he'd just be walking around the whole island all the time. And I know Photo definitely loved his ladies, um, his female caregivers. Well, one of my favorite memories is I know we would always be looking for Photo, and I would come up and drive around, and he'd pop his head up and come, grab his blankets, throw them on his back, come up to see me. He'd always put his little lips out, let me give kisses. He loved all of us, and we all loved him, especially Dr. B. That was his wife. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely going to be missed. Definitely was one of my favorites. Toto was one of my first chimp friends when I started working here. I knew him for over five years, and I miss him every day. But I remember when I worked up at Bobby's building, he would lay down in cage one, and he would just lean on the floor. He would lay there with his elbow like this. He would have his fork in one hand and his spaghetti, and he would also read his magazines. He would look through his magazines while he had his spaghetti dinner, one of the better memories that I have of Toto. I'll miss him a lot. Toto was a chimp who, the day they passed out charm, he must have got some extra because he was very beloved, very outgoing, very friendly guy, and everyone absolutely adored him. He was a really festive chimp. Uh, he always carried his blankets draped over his back, and my favorite thing that he used to do was wear the holiday headbands around his neck. Um, a lot of times he wore multiple headbands um, with the little springy decorations on the end. He loved those. He was also a foodie. He loved his spaghetti and he loved any kind of special uh, meal that people would prepare for him. Uh, he was also an outdoorsman. He loved camping out under the palm trees on his island, um, getting lost in the grass and the hills. He loved being outside and he loved it here in Florida. Um, but most of all, Photo was just a very beloved member of our community, and uh, everyone knew him, everyone loved him, and we all miss him dearly. We love you, Photo. We hope you're at peace, and we hope that you're with Dr. New.